morning, Raptors. Welcome back to Raptor Vision. What a great day to be on the news. It is a great day. You want to know what else is great? What? Our foreign exchange students. Let's look at our fourth foreign exchange student. What's your name? Thiago Henrique Cardoso Dias da Silva. And what grade are you in? I'm a senior. Awesome. And what country are you from, Thiago? I'm from Brazil. Where in Brazil are you from? I'm from a little city called Limoeiro do Norte. Sweet. Can you share one fun fact about Brazil with us? Brazil is a really diverse country, so we have the biggest population of Japanese people outside of Japan, the biggest population of Arab people outside of the Middle East, and the biggest population of black people outside of, Af of Africa. And how did you learn to speak such good English? <laughs> uh, because of my mom, like she made me go to school to learn English, but I didn't care for most of my life. Then when I was like 12, one of my friends was way better than me and I wanted to be better than him. So I decided to actually study. So I just forced m myself to use English and everything. So I would like read books in English, even though it was horrible. And I would like try to watch like, for four years I would watch four movies every single week. And most of the movies are English, so I kind of grew up and become better with English in general. Do you miss Brazil at all? Yes, I miss a lot, especially like the Brazilian culture and how people are like happy and excited all the time and hot. Are Americans sad, do you think? It's just because we are too happy. <laughs> so, okay, fair. What's the weirdest thing that you've noticed that Americans do? Like people who sneeze like in front of you. This is extremely impolite in Brazil. If you like sneeze in front of a person, like the person's gonna like hate you. Like don't do that. For me. What's your favorite thing about Bozeman or about Gallatin? Uh, I would say it's a really safe place. It's a really chill place. Uh, it's a good place to live. I would be here like when I'm old to so just like live here. What's your least favorite thing about Bozeman or Gallatin? I don't know. So I think. I would say, in general, like my thing I don't like about the United States here is food. The food here is bad. It's really bad. That's fair. How is school similar or different in Brazil compared to America? It is extremely different. Uh, especially high school, uh, it's three years instead of four because freshman year is still middle school and every single class is fixed. So, for example, I'm a senior, so I would study with only the seniors. And the thing is, you don't choose your classes. You have the classes and that's it. You don't choose them. And every single day is a different class. And this class repeat in, like, through the entire year. So let's say you have like five days of class and like one day is like biology, Portuguese, and the other day is like history, geography, and then go on. And this process repeat the entire year. Last question. How is your hair so amazing? It's knowledge of my mom and genetics from Brazil. Okay. Thank you very much, Tiago. What a great couple of weeks for Raptors for Sports. Let's take a look. Welcome back to Sports News, Raptors! State swimming was this weekend. Good job to the boys who took 5th place and the girls who took 12th. Way to represent Gallatin High School. Last weekend, our Special Olympics team competed in the state bowling competition. Congrats to all of our athletes and unified partners. Boys basketball went 1-1 one one over the weekend, beating Skyview 82-60, and then losing to Senior on Saturday. They have an upcoming game on this Saturday against CMR. Everyone show out and be there and be loud. We are undefeated at home, and we need to stay undefeated at Let's home. Let's get that student section bumping. Bump it up. Girls basketball went one-on-one -on -one this weekend, losing to Skyview, but beating Senior. Good job, girls. This weekend, the girls go to Great Falls and play CMR. Good luck, girls. Eli Hunter, Senior. Logan Springer, Senior. Garrett Donkey, Senior. Jaylee Jenkins, senior. Aspen Evenson, senior. Last weekend, Giselle Crane, Josie Simcoe, Jane Chase, and Wrigley Laux all competed in the 24-7 dance competition. And all four came home with scholarships, which is just absolutely incredible. That is the most impressive thing Good job. I think I've ever heard. Wrestling went to state this weekend. Congratulations to all the Raptors that competed in state. We'll see you next week on Sports News.
What's up, Raptors? Welcome back to GHS News this week. On February 2nd to the 5th, our club was taking a trip to Chicago to look at Chicago's art museums and galleries. Here are some videos of Chicago from the Arts Club. Those were all the news about our club today. Have an awesome day, Raptors. Hello, my name is Ines, and I come from Spain. Um, is that we, in Spain, we have to learn English since we're like in middle school, like from a really young age, I guess. I miss the food and partying probably the most. Um, so we have as a general one, Spanish, and then we have like from different regions, like a, a different a different language. I speak two languages, English and Spanish, and a little bit of French. Uh, no, but I'm joining track on spring. I like hanging out with my friends and going to the hot springs. Uh, that everything is like so far away and like it's like so big. Uh, probably the spirit on like like games and like sports. Um, differences are like, I guess in Spain we're like really loud and here they're not as loud and I don't know, yeah. So differences are like, again, the spirits, like we don't have that spirit when it comes to sports and similarities, I, I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of similarities. I think there's everything is like really different. So I'm doing really important things like you um, don't even know, you just can't see. Emotional support Sicily. The loud one and the one who's actually doing her job. <laughs> On defense, we had four. <laughs> okay. Should I do ASMR? Thanks, guys. Did you know we have a school newspaper? Yeah, I just quit. We're filming. Do you something to do too? We're filming in here. Y'all can't all be in here. We need an SD card. We don't got one. You do? No, no. Kyler has it. No, he doesn't. Guys, they're still here. You're still watching? Oh. Well, rapid vision out, I guess.